Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called Compound Return Investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 300 sorry, 3.5% is not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us in the challenge for as little as $9 a month and also exclusive in-depth strategy information, information is available in the uh, description below. And if you do join before the 1st of June, your second payment will be refunded as payments are always taken on the 1st. So no excuse uh, to delay joining us on the challenge. In the previous video we did an important update on uh, Meta Materials MMAT and uh, Dark Pool so please refer back to the previous video for an update of that. In today's video we're going to do an update on Tixamal MMAT. There has been some positive news so hopefully some bullish, bullish information I'm going to share with you shortly. I'm also going to do an update on Tixamal RDBX Red Box so stay tuned for that. So before we start looking at bold stocks let's start by having a quick recap again. Uh, in terms of what happened in the market in the previous week. So I'm going to share with you a headline here, May the 28th from Reuters. The headline here is Wall Street rallies, uh, snaps longest losing streak in decades. So that's the news. So the news is positive and negative. So the negative news, obviously, we've had a very, very long losing streak. But the positive thing is here is we are no longer on that losing streak. So if we follow on here in terms of what happened, if we look at the key indexes here, the Dow Jones was up 1.76%, S&P 500 was up 2.47%, and the Nasdaq was up 3.3%. So overall, good news. Wall Street did show uh, close sharply higher on the Friday uh, because we're looking at potentially inflation maybe peaking. Uh, we're also looking at obviously a long weekend. There will be no trading in the US markets on the Monday, so the Federal Reserve will be able to tighten monetary policy, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, potentially avoiding any uh, fear of inflation. Uh, so if we have a look at the bottom here, again, the key reminder in terms of what happened, the S&P and the Nasdaq suffered seven consecutive weekly de declines. And this is the longest since the uh, end of the dot-com bust and uh, obviously the longest sell-off also since 1932. And then in the last part of the article, we can see here again a reminder that after the seven straight weeks of losses, uh, from April the 1st and May the 20th, uh, we have now obviously shed 14.2% off the value. Uh, but good news here, that looks like now potentially we're at the bottom uh, and we are maybe seeing now some good signs and green shoots of recovery uh, and breaking that trend. I'm now going to share with you an update for Tixamal MMAT, Meta Material. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, share with you a, a tweet from Ryan France. This was four weeks ago, but this is interesting right now in terms of uh, some development. So first of all, what was a tweet four weeks ago? So from uh, Ryan France, he's quick tweeted here, uh, Meta Materials Nanotech Security has a contract with the BEP. So the BEP is moving to Maryland, changing the way we print money. Uh, and that was a question mark. So at the bottom we have uh, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Uh, and they've said here, obviously, uh, did you know that US currency right now is uh, more like fabric than paper? So obviously, if you go to Europe and especially the UK and um, the currency is, it has moved towards plastic, but this is not the case with the US. So this is something that is uh, certainly needed. Uh, and what I'm now going to do is uh, give a shout out to Dave on Twitter, whose um, handle is uh, Dave C 8789 He's also tweeted here. Uh, MMAT Governor Hogan announces US Bureau of Engraving and Printing, so remember there's a contract here, moves forward with new production facility in Maryland. So this is great news. Uh, so we have obviously a hashtag uh, nanotech. Nanotech is an acquisition from uh, George that he made for Meta Materials, wholly owned. So good news here. So let's have a look at this in terms of breaking news uh, from another point of view. Let's now have a look at the website for the Office of Governor Larry Hogan uh, of Maryland. So uh, the headline here is Governor Hogan announces US Bureau of Engraving and Printing moves forward with new 
production facility in Maryland. So again, confirmation here from the official website. So uh, we're looking at a 104 acre site and this is uh, located at the US Department of Agriculture, uh, the Beltsville Agricultural Research Center. So this has now been officially transferred to the Department of Treasury, uh, where it will house a new state-of-the-art environmentally conscious production facility to print US paper currency and other federal security products. So let's have a look at the rest of this article here uh, and see what else we can sign so uh, see here so we can see here over the previous three years the Euro us bureau of engraving and printing and the state of maryland have worked closely on evaluating the potential for this uh, facility in determining how they can work together to make the project successful so the bureau is also currently designing a state-of-the-art project to wrap up design development by summer 2023 so the construction of the new facility which is being managed by the u.s army corps is anticipated to be completed by early 2027 uh, so again once uh, we get confirmation of uh, any potential uh, revenue generation for metamaterials on this this will be certainly very very bullish but the announcement here and going forward if this leads to printing of money uh, using the nanotech uh, facilities as well as uh, metamaterials potential i think uh, going forward long term this should be great news now i'm going to do a quick update on Tixamil rdbx also known as redbox entertainment so uh, this is a stock that was featured on our weekly watch list last week so again congratulations to all the members who managed to get in this stock this is a stock with high risk huge volatility and great opportunity to make a tremendous return so let's have a look at the five day chart we can see here uh, over the previous five days the stock was up in excess of 51 percent at one point there was a tremendous opportunity to take profits in excess of nine dollars and many of the members did and this is a stock that also we've been following since it was trading under three dollars but at close of play on the friday this was trading at seven dollars and 71 and just up in excess of 2.12 percent let's now have a look at the latest updates from fintel going forward so from Fintel's short squeeze score, what we can see here for Redbox, that Redbox is rated as number one. So uh, this is, uh, again, very, very significant. It's rated a number one out of 5,414 stocks and with a score of 99.08. So it's also made itself to number 22 from the Gamma Squeeze score. So the Gamma Squeeze score is something which is looking at uh, numbers again between 0 and 100 and it indicates a high risk of a short squeeze relative to its peers and 50 being the average so uh, this is something that fintel is trialing as relatively new so let's now have a look at uh, short shares available so on the screen here we can see the last uh, data available through fintel is for the 22nd of may and at that time there were no shorts of uh, no shares available for the shorts uh, so again very difficult to short as well and finally uh, i think the most interesting data is the short borrow fees or the cost to borrow and on the screen here again the latest information that we have for redbox is from the 20th of may 2022 very very expensive for the shorts to borrow and uh, it's uh, we're looking at the latest information here it's 719.29 percent so that has been increasing uh, quite significantly so we can see uh, it, uh, 27th of April it was 92.72% uh, then it's gone up uh, in in the 100s, 400s, 500s right now we're, we're looking at 719.29% uh, cost to borrow I'm now going to finish off by looking at the to Fintel's top 12 list of uh, stocks which are primed for a potential short squeeze so on the screen here again confirmation again that uh, number one place we have Redbox Tixamal RDBX with a short squeeze score of 99.08 and a, um, the highest borrow fee on this list uh, at 719.29 so another interesting one that's gone up uh, 2651 places and number two we have Tixamal BTTX better through Therapeutics Incorporated that's got a short squeeze score of 99.05 and quite a high borrow fee also of 130.72 so another interesting stock to keep an eye out and another stock i think a lot of people with will, will be following and the stock with the highest market cap on the list here is to symbol gme GameStop, and this has gone up 64 places to move in at number five uh, with a, a short squeeze score here of uh, 97.83 and another one that we've been following in the discord at number 12 is tick symbol vtnr vertex energy incorporated this is a stock that has 
benefited from the difficult market conditions, especially with the uh, problems in, in energy and oil. Uh, and this has got a short squeeze score here of 96.37 Vertex Energy. And finally, last thing I'd like to um, remind everybody is that obviously today is the day that we share our weekly watch list with the exclusive with the members. So on the screen here, you'll see that this was shared uh, today at 6.17 p.m. UK time. So if anybody would like to get uh, access to the weekly watch list, you can join the Discord for as little as $9 a month. This will also give you access to the Million Dollar Challenge. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.